it doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl. It just matters how you play. Girl Gamer is a global esports festival showcasing the best female gaming talent. With qualifiers in Australia, South Korea, Spain and Brazil in 2019, the world's finals in Dubai 2020 featured the very best female League of Legends and Counter-Strike Global Offensive players on the planet. After winning the bid to host the event, the UAE could enter a team to compete. The problem? Six months before, they didn't have one. My name is Nadi Hanaz. I am 23 years old. My gaming handle is Maddie XO. I'm Narad. I am 22 years old. Everyone knows me by the name of Monkey. Name Faisal. 20 years old. Gaming handle is Sins. Arwa Hamid. 17 years old. My in-game name is Survive Flames. Fatma Mohammed, 24 years old. My gaming handle is Rose. We put a call out to all the female gamers in the UAE. And from the dozens and dozens of applications that we got, these five girls really stood out in terms of their performances, but also the way that they could gel together as a team. 40% of all gamers globally are women, and a third of all esports viewers are women. But if you look at esports representation, it's extremely low. Women should be given the right platforms to be able to play and compete against men. We want to get to a point eventually where tournaments like Gold Gamer no longer exist. When I first started gaming, I was going to gaming cafes here in the UAE and there were no girls. There would be like 50 guys in tournaments and I would be the only girl. I used to get comments like, oh, you're a girl, you can't do this and you can't do that. Bullying online, whenever they know that I am a female, it's like go to the kitchen, make a sandwich or go do your makeup. I feel like it's more difficult for women to get into esports globally, not just in the UAE. For a major esports title like Counter Strike Global Offensive, 76% of players are male. And the top tier League of Legends Championship Series hasn't had a female player since 2016. The opportunity of the Girl Gamer Festival came. I was like, okay, I have to be part of this. This is what I'm gonna do. So right now we are in Dubai hosting the world finals for our tournament to see who's the best team in the world. I think it's very important to have a female competition in esports because it's a way to motivate the girls and to give them opportunities that otherwise are not really there. We also have other activities going on, so everyone is coming. We want to inspire them into getting into the competition. Galaxy Racer is actually the first ever female team based in the Middle East competing in a major international event. I think it's a really big step. The Galaxy Racer eSport team. There is a lot of pressure on my whole team and I feel like every girl in this tournament. You have to like change the image of how girl gamers are perceived. It's not easy, but it's a once in a lifetime yeah. opportunity. Just six months after they first met, Galaxy Racer placed fifth in the Girl Gamer League of Legends World Finals. But winning was never really about coming first. My hopes for the future would be to really just show the world that girls can game and make this into a career. I'm finally doing what I like. Esport has changed my life.